Right, welcome YouTube. We are in Snowdonia National Park today. It's Wednesday, uh, I think it's the 16th of uh, April. Easter weekend's just gone and I decided to get myself out. And we are about to go up to the top of Cada Idris. So I've been here for, before, a couple of months ago. Um, tried to camp up the top, but I uh, couldn't see a few feet in front of us, uh, in front of me because of the, uh, the snow and, and stuff. And with my tent, it just, I, I didn't feel it could um, hold up to the conditions. So I ended up coming back down and uh, yeah, it's a bit of a testing walk up there. It's all, it's about three miles all uphill, but hopefully this time I'll get to see the views because the last time I didn't see anything. It was just a whiteout basically. So it's taken me about three and a half hours to get here. Driving up, it was a beautiful blue sky and um, it's just become a bit overcast. Um, but it's supposed to be clear from rain and, and stuff and it's supposed to be a clear night tonight. So uh, I'm on my top today, no uh, two feet forward or anybody. So yeah, I'm out on my own. So it should be a, an enjoyable uh, overnight. The start of the walk. So we are we're down here. So we're going to go up around. Oh, sorry, backtrack. Down here and around, up, around here. And maybe camp around here. We've got to go up through the forest, which is up through here, quite a few steps. It's quite a steep climb straight off the bat, and then it sort of patters out into the um, the open bit where you can walk round to the reservoir. So um, let's get on it. We keep on climbing. Whew. Always walking the first ten minutes takes a while for my body to kind of all sink in and then my back getting used to um, the weight on it and stuff after a while after about 20 minutes of walking sort of uh, all starts flowing and then it comes enjoyable sometimes <laughs> I do say sometimes because out walking I'll be honest there's times when I think why am I doing this I must be crazy and then I get to the top and that's why I well that's when I know why I do this we're not at the top yet only another three miles to go that way so this is where we're going up here so this path where those people are that kind of winds round Last time, I went up this way, and it was hard going in the snow, no path markings. I'll tell you a bit more about, I'll tell you a bit more about my last adventure when I came here, when I made camp at the top, um, but yeah, the weather is really nice actually. I know the clouds have started to come over, but it's nice and cool. Nice little breeze. So, even though I'm, I'm sweating a bit and hot, it's not like overkill. So, but there's no rush to get out there. 
I mean, they engaged um, uh, donkey mode. So I'm just gonna plod away. That's the beauty of um, sometimes walking on your own, is you, everything is at your pace. So, um, but <laughs> saying that, even when I go out with um, Austin and Lucy, um, we all pretty much move at donkey pace, which is quite nice. There's um, there's no major rush to get there. There's no personal bests or or challenges. We just um, take in the scenery, chat about life, and then and enjoy it. But yeah, I'm on my Todd today. Not been out on my own for a while actually. So. I think the last time I was out on my own was on Cribbin. Um, when I tested out my new tent. So, all is good. Yeah, just having a little rest, have a drink and stuff. I think I'm about halfway. I think I've probably got two, about a mile and three quarters to to go to the top but, um, it's very still not many people around which is nice lovely really nice so lovely to be out really nice quite a few people camp at the, um, the lake here I did think about it but um, I really want to get up to the top in camp. I want to see the nice views which I missed out on last time. Right, okay, that's me nice and hydrated. Had a little snack bar, little rest. So, um, yeah, next stop, the summit, I reckon. We're gonna go this way. from up around to here and that's where we're going nearly there We have reached the top. There's the shelter. Very dark and dingy. Oh, 
and rescue. leaving there's a mountain rescue so he comes up here um, yeah he comes up here twice a week three times a week so lovely chat we we're just chatting about outdoor gear and the madness of what some people wear when they climb up a mountain in jeans and t-shirt so but yeah I'm just having one of these these are excellent really really nice so um yeah just get a little bit of energy inside because yeah, i'm gonna pitch tent in a minute set up camp so yeah all is good good old summit Snowden is over there. It's so still up here. There's a very slight breeze and there is not one person around. I think it's going to be a cold one. The mountain rescue guy that I was chatting to earlier, he reckons it's going to be getting down to minus three up here tonight. So, um, all good. I've got my, um, got all the right kit to keep me warm and stuff there's my little pitch there and not seeing a soul for a good hour and a half now I don't think I'm gonna see anybody now basically the crazy thing is is the last time I was up here I couldn't see any of this none of it it was a belly white out and um, I only had my my three season tent and it was snowing it was gales it was it was just crazy couldn't see anything and uh, but I did plan on camping up here but the weather changed at the last minute literally as I was coming up so uh, it's so lovely to be up here now and to see see everything because it's a bit disheartening when you kind of uh, spend three or four hours climbing a mountain to get to the top to see absolutely nothing but you know I guess if that didn't happen it wouldn't make today as enjoyable as it did because it's um it's just mind-blowing up here it's just so peaceful and I've been so lucky that it's not windy at the moment fingers crossed <laughs> that it's gonna stay that way because um, I don't really want to get blown off the old mountain this is why I do wild camping Because I get the whole mountain to myself. It's amazing. You can feel the temperature dropping though, that's the only thing. Um, I think it's definitely going to be a chilly one tonight. Uh, I've got my gloves on and I've put my thermal layers on. Um, and I am warm, but my body knows that it's going to be cold. You know, it's seven o'clock now and the temperature is slowly dropping now the, the the sun is gone. But it should be nice and toasty in the in the tent later. Just peeking my head out waiting for the old uh, stars to appear. All good. If you're one of these people that's watching this video now and you're thinking, I would love to do that, just go out and do it man life is just too short I'm telling you now it really is I wish my only gripe is I wish I'd done this when I was younger but I was too busy getting in trouble <laughs> and um, you know my journey has led me to to enjoy it at this moment in time so I don't think I would have enjoyed it in my 20s or 30s 
Um, now I'm in my 40s. I just, I just, this is this is what I love doing, man. So yeah, Scott Free tells you to go out, face your fears, and do it anyway. That's what someone told me once. And it can be scary at first, you know, being out on your own and and stuff like that. Or even if you're thinking about taking up vlogging and you know, stuff like that. Once you get comfortable with a camera and stuff like that and around people, it's actually enjoyable and can be exciting. We've got cashew nasi. Nice and easy. Because I was travelling light up here today. I'm not actually that hungry to be honest. Yeah, I'm not that hungry, but um, I know it will keep me warm, you know, keep my energy up and stuff like that. So all is good. Right, I'll check back in in a mo. Come to the edge to do a little um review of what I use as my vlogging camera. So starting from the, from the bottom to the top I've got a Manfrotto tripod which acts as my grip as well. Then I've got a GoPro Hero 5 and it's uh, got an aluminium casing that allows you to put a microphone adapter onto it. Now the GoPro Hero 5 audio is pretty shocking in you know so I was finding that I was getting lots of scraping and scratching noises from holding the uh, the handle basically so I thought let's let's try an external mic and I've seen some good reviews on them so to in order to use an external mic GoPro the Robin bastards make you buy this um, audio adapter that allows you to plug a microphone into it which is as you can see not the smallest adapter compared up to the old Hero 4 adapters so that allows you to plug in a mic and I have the uh, the Rode Video Micro with a windsock basically to stop the wind and I just find that the sound quality is so much better with with this saying that the last time I went out to the Brecon Beacons in my last video the sound was all over the place um, that's because I had the GoPro settings on standard plus which basically boosts all the audio and um, if it's windy or anything like that, it, it creates peaks in the audio, which is not good. So a lot of my uh, video from that footage, I couldn't even use, which I was a bit disheartened. But you live and learn. So I came home and I um, went through the settings and found out that you need to set the microphone to standard, basically. And then you are good to go, basically. So, that's the front, but yeah, it just makes the sound um, a lot better. I mean, if you're not, don't do too much talking, then that's cool. The size is the only letdown, basically, but um, I don't seem to have a problem with it. But yeah, that. Is my go-to vlogging setup. All right, evening. It is just coming up to ten o'clock. I'm in my tent now. Had some food. Um, about nine o'clock. Um, a couple of a girl and a lad turned up. So they're camped just over by the uh, the shelter. 
<coughs> so I had a chat with them, lovely people. So, um, but yeah, that was, you know, I didn't see anybody since five o'clock basically. So it was nice to, um, to have the mountain to myself. So yeah, it's, um, the skies don't be, seem to be clear and I'm gonna probably get my head down and then poke my head out of the tent maybe a, about three or four o'clock if I wake up and um, have a look to see if the sky is clear um, it is pretty cheery um, yes yeah, it's, it's, it's getting towards the minus um, or it will be very shortly because it is um, it is cold but um, I'm nice and snug in the tent nice and fed and um, yeah thought I'd just uh, say it's been an amazing day today absolutely amazing the views and and the, you know the landscape have been amazing so it's been a really really cool cool evening so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sign off and I'll probably see you in the morning because even if I do wake up the light is gonna be so low poor old GoPro is not gonna um, fare too well in low light so um, with that I will see you in the morning and give you an update all right good night so good morning what a morning it is been a bit crazy I've been up since half past four um, it's a bit of a chilly night actually and uh, I looked out the tent at half four and it was a pretty clear sky there's stars so I thought you know let's let's do it so I got dressed and got up and tried to get some star trials um, but it just wasn't even though there were stars it was still a little bit of um, cloud so but then I was greeted with this so basically I've just been um, bumming around on the rock taking pictures and um, I shot some video on my um, my 6D the only thing is with the GoPro it's uh, rubbish in low light so my 6D should handle it a lot a lot better so we'll see how it comes out but it is an absolutely stunning morning. time the only downside is, is I only have the most smallest amount of water going I brought three liters with me as well which I thought would be more than enough um, but I don't usually drink that much so I try to hydrate a bit more on the uh, the journey up but I didn't realize how much I drank because when I got here I, I drank a liter and a half on the way up but as long as I got enough for my coffee all is good so I'm just boiling out the jet pot I'm going to have my my uh, protein oats no pigs in blankets today so So that is me all packed up, ready to go. Just over there. And I'm gonna head down there. So it's, it's about seven o'clock in the morning now. But it feels more like 10 because I've been up at, since half four. So and I've got a long drive back. So I'm gonna take a steady walk back to the car probably a couple of hours walk I imagine I haven't got much water so I'll have to be careful about that 
but it's not too hot so I should be all right um, yeah it's been beautiful up here definitely have to come back again some really nice uh, photographs to to accompany this film so um, yeah like I said up on the top you know don't just think about doing stuff just get out and do it you can talk about it all you like but when you actually get out there and experience it a sense of freedom and that sense of achievement nothing quite like it so with that, again I'd like to thank you for watching, please feel free to give us a subscribe. You know, and any questions about my trip out or any other thing, you know, just stick it in the comments below. But thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!